Today, self-defense expert Dinash shows us a number of different scenarios on how you might be attacked and how to get out of them. Hey guys, I'm Dinash. Today we've got a different show coming up. We're going to be doing street self-defense. Defense movements that anybody at home can apply. Your wife, your daughter, your neighbor. Simple basic moves to protect yourself in the society we live in where we have cowboys trying to rob people of their valuables. I'm joined today by Lee Denton. Lee, thank you very much. Lee is a combat specialist expert. He knows the fight game. He can defend himself pretty, pretty well. This does not apply to people like Lee. It applies to people like you and me who are not ninjas, not kung fu specialists, not Jackie Chang or Chuck Norris. Stick around, this is going to be fun. So guys, for those of you that know me, you'll notice I've got a twitch. For those of you that don't, the story behind the twitch goes like this. I wasn't born like this. I was away on a bodyguard job, long story short. I took a shortcut home after night off. Two guys attacked me. One guy from the back jumped on my back with a screwdriver in the head. One of his mates from the front. I managed to get the guy from the back over, put him out to sleep. The guy in the front's got me in a headlock. I can't breathe, don't know what to do. We're on this bridge. I managed to run us both off the bridge, land on my head, knock myself out, break his leg. Stupid move? Yes but it was a matter of fight or flight. And in times of necessity, you do what you've got to do. Had I not done that, maybe you would have just carried on sticking the screwdriver in and out of my head, and who knows what would have happened today. So I ended up concussed, him with a broken leg, but I'm still here today to tell the story. So when you execute a defense move, execute it and do it with force. Remember, your life is on the line. So guys, what you notice there, three moves. Lee's come at me, he could have had a weapon in his hand, a knife, a bat of some sort. There's three, up kick in the chest, one kick in the face, and the casual kick straight in the jaw. Guys, if you kick somebody in the, in the jaw, you're gonna break the jaw, the jaw's going off. And it's very basic, your hands down like this, and most people, especially women, they've got more flexibility, bang like that, bang, in the jaw, good night, you're going to bed, sleep tight. So guys, a phone. So many people, I'm amazed at how many people walk home, drunk from the pub, out of the tube station late at night, earphones in, listening to music, that you are so vulnerable. How many women do this? When I go for a jog at night, I see people walking dogs with earphones in. You have no clue about your surroundings, what's going on. Don't wear those things at night, it's a simple thing. You are vulnerable. A phone is also a beautiful weapon. It's a big, bulky thing. And you hit somebody in the temple, in the throat, in the neck, you can cause a lot of damage. You can cause like massive damage, as in fa fatal damage. Again, if somebody's attacking you, you do what you've got to do to survive. That's the nature of the game. Guys, from this next move, you'll notice maybe you're walking home, somebody attacks you. People use any method they can to get you on the ground or attack you to rob you. So use three different methods. If you're on your back on the ground, there's three things you can do, I'll show you. If you hit somebody in the throat, if somebody's holding you on the throat and you make contact with their throat, they can't breathe. Or you grab them around the neck, they're going to automatically take their hands onto your hand. That gives you one hand free. You can try and wiggle out of that. Second move, ladies, you have nails. Stick your nails into that person's eyes and gouge their eyeballs out. Stick your nails into the eyes, rip the whole face off. Do what you've got to do. Lean up, grab the person, pull them towards you and start biting chunks out of their face. You do what you've got to do. So guys, from this position, you're in a vulnerable position, you're in trouble. If I grab Lee on the throat, can't get his throat, if I just back him in the throat, he's gonna struggle to breathe. Grab his face, like that, put my finger in his eyes, I'll just keep pushing those eyeballs into the back of their sockets, or scrape off hands down his face. Second thing, like this, aggressively, bang, I start biting chunks out of him. Thirdly guys, the hips is your power point. Hips is where you use your power to throw punches and kicks, 
We don't have to be boxers or kick fight boxers for this. Simple. From there, you got him there. Bang. Use the hips and drive him off. It's called the buckaroo. We all do these. As kids, we do the buckaroo. It's a normal, common household thing we do. So guys, if you're under attack, scream, shout, create a commotion so you can get some attention, somebody can come and help you. Use whatever you can as a weapon. Don't be afraid to apply any movements to a male's groin area because that is very sensitive. For those of you that have expensive watches or phones for that matter, if somebody attacks you and they want your phone or something specific, people do specific crimes for specific objects. If somebody comes and says, I want your watch, take your watch and give it to them. Don't fight and lose your life over a Rolex watch. If you've got a Rolex, you should have insurance. If you've got a mobile phone, give it to them and let them go with it. Don't lose your life over some material item. Definitely not worth it. So guys, thank you for joining us. A massive thanks to Lee. Um, really appreciate it. Lee Denton, uh, the expert, the guru, the combat specialist. Um, guys, hopefully you never have to use any of these moves, but thank you for joining us. They're basic, they're simple. Try them at home, show them to your kids, and uh, thanks to Elevate for letting us use this facility.